Oh man, oh, I just love this style of DNA. I'm a Dapper Dan man. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a review today on these five samples from Dapper Fragrances. Thank you so much Dapper Fragrances for providing me these. I haven't really been into as much designer scents recently just because these oil houses go after these such luxurious copies of niche style fragrances and they use these really unique exotic oils that you don't find in designer fragrances. So to be honest, I just absolutely love wearing these oil fragrances and most of the time I will always prefer to wear something with an extreme fragrance concentration versus a normal designer. That's just me these are no exception i rated these in order from five to one and i wrote down a little bit about each one so let's jump into number five this one's the one that technically i liked the least but to be honest i enjoyed all five of these popeye au fresh now i used to really like popeye au fresh back in the day i saw the superman back there but i've just for some reason have fallen out of love with that style of smell and it's just got a little bit of a raspiness that i don't like compared to the really good niche style oils with this one to be honest i actually like this more than the normal popeye and lamallo fresh a less raspy quality and a little bit more of a complexity so i would say if you do like popeye au fresh or superman au fresh whatever one you might actually like this one more because i actually like it more i used to like the other one don't really like it as much now but that's just me personally there's two concentrations here i think this is like the extrait and they come in this almost like a diamond style bottle and then they have the normal ones that come in the circle style bottle so if you see like the more diamond shape i think those are a little bit higher quality and a little bit more money the little cylinder ones are a little bit cheaper but man this oil is still very very good now guys to be honest these are all really good you really can't shade any one of these but um, i'm gonna go with number four tobacco vanille now i have two other really 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 good tobacco vanille clones i have not tried this back to back with all of them like i said this is one of those ones where i would have wanted to test more but i have tested this at least twice and it's it's really really good it's closer to the more smooth vanilla sweet style versus the more spicy style versions of tobacco vanille i think it's the clove that gives it a little bit more spice so whether you want to use more clove or less clove to be honest the only reason that this one got a number four is because when i sprayed it and i got really really close up there there was this slight plasticky kind of smell in there and now i'm talking about it's tiny and the overall quality of this juice is insane this is probably the most long lasting juice and it was only for about two maybe three hours and then it goes away but in the air i don't think you're going to get really much of it and this is really luxurious really smooth and again this is probably the most long lasting one that they sent me but really 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 enjoyed this stuff tobacco vanille number four it's the one that i sprayed the most just because i ended up going on a trip and only brought this fragrance so i was going to wear it the most and that is their aventus x straight now this one's very interesting to me because i really like creed aventus creed aventus delivers so much kind of compliments and this is kind of like an x straight version a stronger version interesting to see what they do with it more fruits a little bit more vanilla a little bit more genericness not in too much of a bad way but slightly more generic very strong, very oily, really, really, really enjoyed this stuff, guys. It hits all the marks. It doesn't have any of that nasty, too rough quality of like Club de Nuit Intense Man, or it just doesn't really go after the rough styles of Venice. Again, it's more smooth, a little more fruity, and a little bit more vanilla, tiny bit, but I really, really, really enjoyed it. Very solid, can't say anything bad about it. Aventus X Straight. All right, guys, number two, my second favorite one, Abercrombie and Fitch 2002 X Straight. Now, I think this is the X Straight version. It says Extreme X Straight right there it actually smells closer to the older batches of abercrombie and fitch fierce again i would have wanted to test this against the classic fierce against dua against the new ones and, and all that kind of stuff but that would have taken so much time and so much days to do i will probably do it in the future because i actually really really like this stuff again it smells closer to the older batches of fierce which i really really like and the older batches of fierce it's iso -E super it's musk and there's a kind of like a lemon on top um, the newer versions of Fierce are more sage and fruity, in my opinion. More watermelon in the new ones. I get kind of more lemon on top in the old ones. As soon as I sprayed it, just super high quality. Having a nose for Fierce, I really, really like this. Enough to put it number two. Super good. I just absolutely liked it. Fierce 2002 X Straight. My number one, it's actually in the circular bottle, so the non-X Straight. Very surprising to me. This is kind of because I don't really have too much of this style DNA, and I love this style DNA, and that is perfect. Perfumes de Marley Layton. The reason I'm putting this number one is partly because I don't have that many Perfumes de Marley Layton clones. If I did, I probably would have one or two that I like the most, but I don't really have one. And this is the very first one that I sprayed. I was so interested in it. And it's got a just perfect style smell, so close to the original Layton. It almost smells a little bit stronger, if anything. 
oh man, oh, I just love this style of DNA, and I'm so glad that um, somebody somebody was able to recreate it at an affordable price. I know Central Obsessions, who I think was going to try uh, their version of Layton, but I think he needed to use higher quality oils to do it, and therefore he was going to have to charge more. I really, really, really like Layton. It's one of those ones that's different, and it's niche, and it's also likable. It's kind of like this blend of niche and designer and they do it perfectly here so so good i couldn't really find a good website for these guys i'll try to hit up the owner and have him send me the website it may just be a facebook group or maybe one of these sites where they don't have their own site but they're through shopify or something like that i'll, I'll put the information down below and get your guys out there my top two are perfume samari layton great night out scent super luxurious super niche smelling and then i like abercrombie and fitch 2002 x straight but the old fierce i just absolutely love and they nailed it on this one but anyways guys let me know if you've heard of dapper fragrances down below let me know what you think of the video let me know what video i should shoot next we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best i'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace